motivation. I'm so excited. I love Monday motivation. Here at Remar Review, I'm waiting for my regulars. I'm waiting for my first time people. Remar nurses, I want to call your attention to an amazing motivational Monday. I think the topic is amazing. I think just the video I'm going to show is amazing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys know me. I am Regina Callion. I have the pleasure of not only having my master's in nursing education, which I worked very, very hard for. You guys know my story. But I also uh, get to be the lead NCLEX instructor here at Remar Review. And I am, it just overjoys my heart to um, know that people are passing their NCLEX using the Remar products and they're coming back and they're inspiring other people. Good morning. This is a great morning. If you have not been to the website, remarreview.com, go over there and check it out because we are having an amazing sale on the online academy. I've been getting emails about it all weekend long, but uh, $100 off of the online academy right now to help you pass your exam. So check it out. Also at that website, remarreview.com, I have the the motivation, the products, the resources, the boot camp, like the, the good stuff uh, all lives at the remarreview.com website. So check it out if you get a chance. I would like to thank one of my Remar nurses who, um, who inspired the topic of today uh, for Motivational Monday is follow the leader. And this is going to be good, you guys. Follow the leader. I need you all to be 100% committed to this Motivational Monday. It is going to change your week, change your life. I guarantee, I guarantee. But um, so Nurse Velma, she sent me this picture. Um, just basically, she had an opportunity, obviously, to go to a paint and sip, uh, which I have never been to. I always wanted to go to. But, you know, you get to paint whatever you want there, I think. And look what she painted. Look at what she painted. It is amazing. It is simply, it is simply uh, the Remar motto. I can, I will, I must. And um, she has B and R N, B and R N. So um, it is on the hearts. It is written on the hearts of you guys out there. Uh, I like that you write the vision, you make it plain. You, you see it, you say it, and then you do it. So uh, we are praying for you to pass your NCLEX exam. I know that test date is coming up. Thank you so much for uh, sending me that photo. I wanted to share it with you guys because it, 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 it is simply beautiful. It is simply beautiful. Another beautiful thing that happens here at Remar Review, I don't know if you guys know about it, but we get the most amazing testimonials on a on a pretty on a daily basis on a daily basis and i have the ability to share them with you guys so strap in because i have one of the best testimonial videos that we have ever gotten here at remar review and i got it from oh my goodness i'm just gonna okay so usually i try to go on and i try to say uh, what is the story and uh, everything I try to tell you guys, but I honestly, I have to let you hear it. I have to let you hear it uh, from, from the nurse herself. So I'm going to do something that will require some technology here. You guys are going to watch a video that I got uh, this weekend and nurse Kathy actually is going to tell her story right now. Hi everyone, um, my name is Kathy and I am a Remar nurse. I just found out that I passed in NCLEX yesterday. Um, a little bit about my story guys is I was, first I went to nursing school five years ago and I went to a really good school in here in Cleveland, Ohio. And throughout nursing school, I had a lot of issues I had a lot of urinary tract infections, a lot of swelling, and I did not know what was going on. Um, I finally graduated and I went to the doctor and my doctor told me 
that I was uh, spinning over about a protein, classic signs of renal failure, guys. Uh, just an FYI. <laughs> um, and I was diagnosed with end-stage renal failure. I had to go on dialysis for um, three times a week, which I am currently on. I am currently waiting for a kidney transplant. Um, I found Miss Regina about two years ago. I was scrolling Facebook and I um, seen a lot of people talking and saying, you know, oh my God, this review is so good and I passed with her. So I said, why not? You know, let me give it a try. And I didn't have a job, guys. I really couldn't afford it, but I found the way. I, I invested in my future. And I just start studying every day. I went to dialysis with my books. Quick Facts was like my nursing Bible. I um, I read it front to back three, four times. I quizzed myself. I had my mom quiz me. Um, I took my boards yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, I was a nervous wreck. I did not sleep the night before. Um, and I came home and I cried like a baby because I felt like a failure. I emailed Miss Regina and I said, Miss Regina, I feel like a failure. I did the piercing view trick mm -hmm. and it let me in, which I found out, guys. I did not do the trick the right way. But anyways, Miss Regina's response was, that trick is not official. Those are not your official results. Stay positive. So I woke up the next morning and I said, okay, God, if I felt, please just help me so I can try to study, study, study and work things out. I went to dialysis. I sat in my chair. Something told me, just check your email and it says, congratulations, you have been issued a license number. I just want you guys to know that when you think positive and you put God first, you will succeed. Mm -hmm. You don't think that you are because you see all these other nurses are passing and you're like, oh my God, I have this job or I have kids or I have this going on in my life. If I can pass NCLEX, um, I know you guys can pass NCLEX, okay? Because I know it's not easy. You have to um, have, have talks with yourself. Mm -hmm. Talk positive. Um, just tell yourself, you are a nurse. I ask God, please, God, make me a competent nurse. This is just not about a test. It's about me being able to walk into a patient room, know how to administer a medication, know how to save a life, and to furthermore um, look at a young girl who's who has end-stage renal failure and tell her, honey, it's going to be okay. Because I just know from my experience that I am okay. You guys are going to be okay. You put God first and you put your time and your effort into your content and studying. Um, I want you guys to know that you guys, please feel free to email me or to email Miss Regina. Don't hesitate. I emailed her like every day, like, oh my God, I don't understand this. I felt so stupid, but it was like, no, you're just clarifying what you know because you want to make sure that when you get to this test that you know your stuff. Um, while I was taking my test, oh my God, it kept the questions kept coming and coming and coming and I'll select all that applies. And I just kept thinking like, you have this. You did not come this far to leave without your license. You have this. So you put your content to the front of your mind because you know it. Put it to the front of your mind, put everything else to the side, and pass this test because you are bigger than this test. This test is not bigger than you, okay? You can yeah. do it, and you must, you can, and you will pass NCLEX. Everyone, please, please be blessed, and please keep in mind what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you. Bye amazing 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 that was your motivational monday like if i don't do anything else i could like, just stop you know, every time right here so let I me 
let me turn it back over to man isn't god good like kathy silences all of our excuses like i i had to show this video because if you had an excuse why you weren't studying why you gave up on yourself for NCLEX, her story cancels it all. She could have been totally down. A young woman diagnosed with a chronic illness at getting treatment three times a week. When you get dialysis, I know it takes a lot out of you. I know it drains you. But to know that she's sitting there hooked up to a dialysis machine studying her Quick Facts book, come on. What excuses do we have for not getting it done? We have zero. And um, I'm just so, I'm so, I'm so happy that she came back and she told her story, but she also uh, put it in our hearts and minds. You got to speak positive. Like she tells us how she got through. You got to speak positive to yourself, no matter what else is going on, no matter what other situations that you see people succeeding, people living their best life. And you're sitting here studying for exam. Your life is not uh, your life is not in comparison to another's. You have your own life to live. Just make sure you're doing what you need to do, no matter what difficulties are, are coming your way. And so I like her mindset. I like that. Just it's just a positive prosperity mindset where I am going to prosper, not because difficulties won't come. Difficulties will come, but I'm going to prosper in the face of adversity because I'm not giving up on myself. And so thank you. Thank you, Nurse Kathy. We, this, this won't be the last time that we hear from her because this story that she has um, is so powerful. And she I, I know, I know, I know that there is um, another that needs to hear it. So we're actually going to see uh, her again very soon. I, I've been talking to her over the weekend. But, you know, one thing about her, too, is when she said she messaged me, she messaged me. She emailed me like when she's studying quick facts and she had a question or um, she she asked me why some stuff wasn't in quick facts. Like that's how that's how she was emailing me. So she was very committed to her studying, but she took advantage of the resource that I made myself to be to her. And a lot of you guys need to take advantage of the resources that you have so that like when you sit in front of that exam, you say, I studied, I did what I was supposed to do. I know she thought about those long hours when she was getting her treatment, but at the same time, she was making the, the best use of her time by studying. So whew, God is good. I love the comments. Yes, he will do it. Um, oh, it, it just blessed our soul today. We watched it as a staff today, um, her video, and it really blessed our soul. So thank you so much, uh, Nurse Kathy, for sharing that video. Um, but yeah, this is this is just her, 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 her quick stats really quick. She did the video, but uh, she graduated five years ago had a major health diagnosis, um, got through school even with the, the the issues that she was having, took her books to her treatment, did that Pearson View trick. I told y'all stay away from that trick, okay? Don't even don't even go there. I there's so many variations and so much mythical information about it. Just stay away from it. Think positive when you test, wait for your official results. She thought she failed. But God, she did not fail. She passed. It is a wonderful story. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to share it with you guys. So uh, I always want to connect you to the best resource that I can think of, which is the full Remar Review Comprehensive Program, four books, four DVDs. It is, it is a game changer. It is a game changer. I also want to let you guys know that everybody who does a video testimonial, who comes back, tells their story, they, they pass the NCLEX, you tell your story, we send you uh, your Remar Nurse shirt. These things are going out like crazy from our office. We're ordering totes and totes full of Remar Nurse shirts, uh, and, and they're pretty cool. I like them a lot. Uh, so I hope that you guys are wearing them very proudly. Hey, I just have a, a whole bunch of announcements. I haven't seen you guys since Friday, so more announcements. So let me tell you guys this. Next week, 
two things are happening. So next week, I will be actually at a very, very special life changing place. Um, it is actually the let me let me show you. the 2018 NCLEX conference is happening next week. And guess who will be there? Uh, your very own, your very own uh, instruct, NCLEX instructor. I'm going to be at this conference. And it was so important for me to be here because, you know, they, they have these frequently, but it was so important for me to be to this one because you know what? Um, I am expecting some changes to the NCLEX. And I've been talking about it and I've been researching it. So there are some things that I'm definitely expecting to change. And guess what? I'm going to be right there giving you guys that information. So if you guys are um, in my Facebook study group, are you guys in my Facebook study group? Not yet. Uh, but if you're in my Facebook study group, I'm creating a Remar Nurse um, NCLEX study group and I will be going live from the NCLEX conference from that group. So everything that uh, Mark is going with me as well. So everything that we learn from that conference, we will be sharing that with you in real time. And let me tell you, I have not, I have not ever um, experienced anything like this. And I think that you guys will really enjoy what I am bringing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a, a lot of information from that conference for you guys. So get in that study group um, and then we'll be able to share information. Okay, so, so much stuff is going on. The topic for today, the topic for today is something leads, something follows. Something leads and something follows. And this is our motivational activity. So get a pen and paper, okay? Because we're gonna do an exercise, get a pen and paper, we're gonna do an exercise. And I, I promise you guys, this will help. I, I don't get on here and just say things that I think will uh, think will be cool and think will be fun. I, I'm saying things that I actually do myself and it changes uh, my process to my goals. It gets me there faster. So I want you guys to do this. Get a pen and paper out. We have an activity that we're going to do OK, uh, activity that we're going to do. No. So the Remar Nurse study group will be the one that the Remar company will be the administrators of. OK, so you will literally see Remar company. <laughs> you'll, you'll see you. We will be one administrator. It'll be us. OK, so here's our exercise. Here's our exercise. I want you guys to write down specific areas in your life that you are committed to changing, that you want to change. OK, uh, write down specific areas that you're committed to changing. Yeah. Yeah. Or that you want to change. So like examples, um, your finances, health, career, like relationships. I know um, this could be it's going to really depend on the individual, but I want you all to do it. I want you all to make the time and do this because it's very important. All right. So write down specific areas that you are committed to changing, that you want to change, um, that you've been just thinking about all year. This was our year to accomplish certain goals. So write those things down. What are they? All right. We have them. We do. All right. So here is the, the motivation. Here's the motivation. Um, something leads, something follows. All right. When you typically think of leadership, when you typically think of leadership, it is usually something that somebody else brings to the table. Like somebody else is leading you. Somebody else is guiding you to get to where you want to go. But 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 the let the best leadership, honestly, is the leadership that you do in your own life, like your own struggle, your own testimony is the best leadership that you can have it is best demonstrated by you so something leads something follows when when we think about this principle we're thinking of what is leading and then what follows behind that so let me show you guys this work leads and then results follow work leads and then results follow right so 
working, when we're talking about working, it is not something that we're just thinking about. It is actually, what are you currently doing? Not what are you thinking about? What are you talking about? But on your process to achieving your goals, what are you actually doing? What are you actually doing? Work leads and then results follow. Work leads and then results follow. So on the other end, when you talk about results, when you talk about results, results are not the first step. So when you think about your goals, when you think about what you want to do, like I see here, um, I, I want a better career, right? I, I want I want I want to pass NCLEX. I want my license. I want to live healthier. Like those are the results that follow. But it is because there has been some work that has taken place. So something has been executed in order to get those results. Right. Yes. Yeah, something has been executed in order to get those results. So. It's tough. It's tough in this sense because we like to focus on we like to focus on the results, right? We like to say, "Hey, hey, I, I I'm going to live a better life. I'm going to be financially stable. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have a better relationship with my husband." Those are those are the results. But what are we going to do? What work has to be done in order for us to get those results? So something leads and something follows. Most of us focus on what follows, but what are we leading with? What are we leading with? What do we have in place currently that is taking us to those results? What do we have in place currently that is taking us to those results. So like for myself, when I get it, well, what was it last year? Okay. Just for a personal example, because um, I had to think about my own life. I can't come on here and tell you guys to do all these things. And I myself am not doing these things like, you know, uh, so I, I, I say to myself, okay, I want to be the best NCLEX instructor in the world. I want to, when people think of NCLEX instructors, I want them to think of Regina Callion. I want you guys to pass NCLEX. I want everybody that comes in contact with Remar Review to have a positive mindset. I want you guys to not only pass your exam, I want you to give back to the community. I want you to see yourself as educators, right? These are all the things, these are all the results that I want for you all and for myself. So perfect, Regina, those are the results, but what are you leading with? What are you going to do to get to those results? So I literally like, um, like, like I hear you got to level up. I had to start doing advanced study sessions. I had to get on Facebook. I had to do motivational Monday. I'm doing less talk NCLEX. I'm doing less talk nursing. I am trying to put in the work. I'm leading out with these things so that the results follow, so that you guys feel encouraged, so that you guys feel uplifted, so that you guys feel educated when you sit in front of that NCLEX exam. We all have to do this process. We have to examine what are we doing on a daily basis to get the results that we want. The problem is, the problem is some of some of you don't know what you're leading with. Or you are leading with the wrong thing. Okay? You're leading with the wrong thing. So you want to pass your NCLEX. But if you look at your study time, you're not putting in the time to study. You're not like my girl, Kathy. You're not, you're not setting aside time to study. You know, you sleeping in. You're watching movies. You know, you want to be healthy, but you eating donuts for breakfast. These, I mean, you know what I mean? Like we're leading with the wrong things. And so this week, as part of our Monday motivation, we are going to change, we are going to change what we've been leading with, all right? We're gonna assess and we're gonna change what we've been leading with. So I'm just gonna give you guys three, three things that will help you look at what you're leading with, change what you're leading with, and then I'm gonna let you guys go for a wonderful week, okay? So here are three, three tips to improve your lead, all right? Because that's what we're looking at. We're looking at our lead. So the first tip I have is to get out of your feelings. 
get out of your feelings. This is, I think, the, <laughs> the this is one of the most effective ways to get the job done. And on the other hand, this is one of the most effective ways to not get the job done. If you ignore your feelings, if you get out of your feelings, like I don't feel like studying today, or I don't feel smart enough, or I don't feel like I'm making progress, get out of those feelings and just do what you need to do. Like you're there, you're there are some places that feelings just don't belong. And when it comes to accomplishing goals, that's one of them. I, that's one of them. You have to be about execution. You have to be about getting the job done and not living based on how you feel at the moment. Because moment by moment, feelings change. Feelings change, but the goals are still there. Like your grind should still be there no matter what day it is, no matter what time. It's like get out of your feelings. OK, that's number one. All right. Second thing, second thing that some of us have to do and it's difficult for us as nurses, as nurturers, as women, as men, mothers. I mean, I'm trying to think of all of my Remar nurses. You guys come from such a diverse background, but you have to learn how to say no. You have to learn how to say no. And that is a no without explanation. OK, so. Someone or something asks you to impose time where you would actually have to sacrifice accomplishing your goals to get it done. You guys have to learn how to say no. And let that be a complete sentence, because when we get into explaining why we can't do something, why it's not the best fit for us, why you might think about it, all those things take away from just getting what you need to do done. OK, so getting out of your feelings, learning how to say no. And this helped me because I was so, you know, it was a point where I was so bogged down with other people's stuff that it dragged the time out that I did my own thing. And I had to literally learn how to say no to some good things. But this is uh, this is just a principle I want to share when you say no. Listen, when you say no to others, you're able to say yes to yourself. And that's a good feeling. And I have to remember that because sometimes on the process to your dreams and your goals, you might have to say no to some really good things. But because you have a bigger picture in your mind, you're able to say yes to yourself. So sometimes you have to say no to good things and good people but you're able to say yes to your own self and yes to your own dreams. And ultimately, that's where you'll be happiest at. So I think people who learn this principle early, they carry a lot less anxiety and stress about what other people think. So that's my second tip. I hope that blesses. I hope that sets somebody free uh, saying no, just saying no. And the third thing is just live by principles. Is something that has helped me as a business owner um, to function in a very healthy capacity. There are certain principles that I live by that keeps my mind at total peace. All right, it keeps my mind at total peace. And I'll have to talk about that too. Um, but so one of the things that is really important to me is God is first. God is the head of my life. All right. And then there's Mark. Uh, but I keep that as a business principle so that when you come in contact with me or I come in contact with you, um, you understand that there is a there is a regulation for how I'm going to behave in conducting myself. Right. Also, uh, one of the things that, you know, family is very important to me. So I love you all. I love the whole Remar nurse community. But I want you guys to know that I also have two kids at home who are, are waiting for me to play with them and feed them and care for them when I'm done with Remar Review, right? Um, another principle that I live by is I don't do any work on Saturday. So I don't care how much money you offer me. I don't care what business opportunity you have. On Saturday, I keep that day holy. That is for family. That's for God. 
that is not for business. So these are things that I govern my life by that gives me an opportunity for peace and gives me a, a, a way to really um, compartmentalize issues and things that could blend all together, that don't need to be blended together. So principles, if you have certain principles, um, you realize that they are stronger than you. You know, sometimes as people, we waver and we, we waver in our mind, we waver in what we want. But when you hold to a principle, you can find strength in that principle because principles usually don't break. Like people try to break themselves against principles, but principles do not break. So those are really three things I think that we all can look at this week that can change and help us to evaluate what we are leading with, what we are leading with, because something leads and then something follows. And usually if it's not work, if it's not sacrifice, if it's not um, discipline, the results that you want will not follow. So consider that, okay? So consider that. Uh, this week as you guys are moving forward in your goals. I, um, you know, I just want to thank you guys so much for what you do for Remar, the Remar Nurse community. And I know I get on here and I say that, um, you know, you guys are very special, but you really, really are. Uh, I have people coming on here sharing testimonials and I don't really see this anywhere else. So this is a very special place. I, I really do believe God has brought us together here to change the face of nursing education. And I cannot do it without you guys. So I need you guys to put in the work so that the results follow. I need you guys to think about what you're leading with this week. Think about what you're making your priority this week. Uh, congratulations, Margaret. I see you passed your NCLEX exam. Congratulations. Motivational Monday. You are contributing to uh, the success and the positivity, uh, letting us know that you passed. Send me an email uh, so that we can chat more about it. Also, show me your video, too, so that we can spotlight you. Spotlight you. We can send you a shirt, uh, just like we do all of our Remar nurses, our favorites. I, I We've been sending out shirts. We've been sending out uh, well, edible arrangements and, you know, fruit and everything like the, the best stuff we, we love to share with you guys. So um, this was your Monday motivation. You have a lot of work to do this week. I already know you have a lot of things on your plate. You're balancing work and family life. But let me tell you, the sacrifices that you make today will pay off a hundred fold when you get your license, when you uh, are able to live out your dream as a nurse, what you work for, what you study for, you are educated to be a nurse. So get there and get it done. No excuses. This is an excuse free zone. This is your Monday motivation. Do the work. We can. We will. We must pass NCLEX again. We can. We will. We must pass in Clex. Look out for the study group. I know you guys are asking, hey, how do I get in the study group? How I haven't created it. I'm speaking things into existence. So I talk about it. So now I got to go do it. But yeah, study group will be amazing. I will be going live from the group. I also have questions I'm going to post to the group and all these wonderful things um, because that's what it is at Remar Nurse. So um, I look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, this week, let's talk. Let's talk nursing. I have a wonderful question that I want to know your opinion on. Also, let's talk NCLEX will also be coming up on Friday. So I'll do the customary review. I will also be talking more about the 2018 NCLEX conference. I got a, um, I got something really cool on my phone today. They say, hey, Regina, you're coming to the conference. Download our app. I didn't even know that NCLEX uh, NCBSN had an app. So I will be playing with the app and then I'll be talking about it and the things that are coming up. That is super exciting because I know the questions are going to change. And so I'm going to be, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to be delivering breaking news. I'm going to come out the conference. I'm going to get on. I'm going to talk about what I learned. I'm going to be doing examples. So uh, the study group was going to be jumping uh, with information. So this is for the NCLEX RN. 
the conference is next week. Uh, so I will be sharing that information and I'm super excited. I'm super excited for it. So I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful week. Uh, we can, we will, we must pass our NCLEX exam. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.